The next case is 8 coins are tossed at a time 256 times. Find the expected frequencies of successes that means getting had and tabulate the results obtained. Also obtain the values of mean and standard deviation of the fitted distribution. 8 coins are tossed at a time that means number of coins or number of trials are 8. This experiment is repeated 256 times. Getting had is success. So probability of success is 1 by 2 for each and every coin and probability of failure is also 1 by 2 for each and every coin. Number of trials finite and fixed. Probability of success and probability of failure remain constant in each and every trial. Getting head or tail on any one or more coin is independent of each other. That means the data follow or satisfies conditions of binomial distribution. So the problem can be solved through the help of binomial distribution. Now what is the exact problem? Expected frequency. What is expected frequency? The probability of any particular success into total number of repetitions of the experiment. That means capital N into probability of R. But in this case, N is 8. What can be R? R can be from 0 to N. That means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These 9 values are possible. Number of successes can be either of these. If we want to fit a distribution, that means this is the case of fitting a binomial distribution for this particular case. The random variable is made up of all possible mutually exclusive and exhaustive outcomes of the experiment. That means 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 or 8 heads out of 8 coins. This experiment will be repeated 256 times. So first we have to find probability of all these 9 possible results. And then multiply the probability with 256. The result will be expected frequency of 0, 1, up to n. Now, according to binomial formula, probability of R successes is NCR into P raised to R into Q raised to n minus R. Now let us substitute the values. This is 8CR into half raised to R into half raised to 8 minus R. So ultimately this is probability of any R success is 8 CR into half raised to 8. That means 8 CR into 1 raised to 8 means 1 and 2 raised to 8 means 256. This is probability of any value of R. Now we know that Expected frequency equals to number of repetitions of the experiment into probability of any particular result. That means ultimately it is 256 into 8 CR into 1 by 256. And we can cancel 256 and 256. So ultimately it is 1 into 8CR into 1. So any expected frequency is equivalent to 8CR. Now to get any expected frequency we just require to substitute the 9 possible values of R. Yes. Number of heads that is R 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, expected frequency that is nothing but 8 C R. Let us substitute values of R in 8 C R. 8C0 is always 1, 
8C1 is 8. What is 8C2? 8 into 7 divided by 2. So it is 28. Now what is 8C3? What should be 8C3? 8 into 7 into 6 divided by 3 factorial. That means 8 into 7, 56. What is 8C4? 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 divided by 4 factorial. 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 factorial divided by 70. Yes, 4 factorial. 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Just cancel. So it is ultimately 70. Now, actually P equals to Q equals to half. So binomial distribution leads to symmetric distribution. The middle value or middle frequency is the highest. So the remaining frequency must be in descending order or rather same values in descending order. Or in other words, what is HC5? It is exactly equal to HC3. So it will come 56. What is HC6? It is exactly equal to HC2. So it should be 28. HC7 is equal to HC1. So it is 8. And HC8 is equal to HC0. So it should be 1. Just verify. The total must be 256. Now we require to get the mean and standard deviation of the fitted distribution that means binomial distribution. The fitted distribution is binomial distribution. Therefore mean will be NP that is 8 into half that is 4. Standard deviation will be under root NPQ that is under root 8 into half into half that means under root 2 that means approximately 1.41 what is it? Is it 1.41? Yes. We can verify these two answers through the longer process. We can calculate mean through these two columns. It is taken as x, it is taken as f, fx, fx square and so on. The same answers can be obtained. But the benefit is we know that this is binomial distribution and in case of binomial distribution mean is always NP, variance is always NPQ and standard deviation is always NPQ square root.